Hello, it's me. I was well, I wasn't really wondering. Um, okay, back for narrating number two. What episode one? We can do this. Uh, complicated words. Just got back from life. All right now, time to narrate. <coughs> cough, cough. <coughs> Back when the Iron Horses of Coal Steep No, I don't like this voice. Sorry. Mm, just give me a rating voice. Back when the Iron Horses of Coal, Steam and Soot roamed the steel rails, Britain was privileged with superior greyhound speed. Pres mm, I want to get this right, you know. Their polished bra Their polished arsework. <clears throat> sorry. Their poly oh, the Irish mail and of course the Bournemouth Bell. Why the Bournemouth Bell? Surely the Flying Scotsman. No, well, no, well, I like Bournemouth. I have someone I know who lives there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. This was our. Well, for many, this was our most remarkable achievement. For many, this was our finest hour. For this, for this, for many. Ah. Their polished brasswork was. <laughs> the many, this was our most. Sorry. For many. Da da da. Mm. For many, this was our most remarkable achievement. For many, this was our finest hour. For many, this was the golden age of steam. Is that it? Do, 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 do you know what the that Seventeen years later... Seventeen years later, an all-time low hit. The cold set in, and within the town was in a... And with the town... Wild town... Oh, I can't, okay. Seventeen years later, an all-time low hit. The cold set in, and when, the, and whilst the town was in a low-lying area, the snow gathered quickly. Okay. Oh, while, I, I hate this. Wait, oh, God, I can't edit it. That sounds familiar. Mm, checks, checks, checks. Oh, Jacob Burden. Is that Archibald Burden? Jacob Burden. Got it. There was one man who was... There was one man who went by the name of Sir Archibald Burden. He was an ex-Australian man. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, ex-Australian railway man. That, that one word makes all the difference. <laughs> See, railway is important. Um, <laughs> ex-Australian man. <laughs> he died. He's now British. Okay. He was an ex-Australian railway man who had... Ugh, I'm struggling. He was rather Welshy. Welshy. <laughs> He was what? He was rather wealthy, and help one or two of the might help one or two of the town's people to keep warm. One day he was walking a one day he was walk but it, when he st when he stumbled sounds like a murder documentary. <laughs> okay. One day he was walking along the old railway, looking for any spilt coal that might help one or two of the town's people to keep warm, when he stumbled across an old derelict shed building thing. And he kept going. Then my <laughs> small engine awoke to see Mr. Verdon. Mr. Verdon turned and said to the engine, Words. The engine replied, More words. You mean the E2s? Yes, Audrey words. Words, 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 words. The dog tank was delighted, for oh, delighted. For once in over 20 years, he smiled. Ah. So tired. Some weeks passed before Mr. Verdon came back to... Didn't even read the number. 4763. Some weeks passed before Mr. Verdon came back to 4763. He said as he slowly dozed back to sleep. Sleep? He said as he slowly dozed back to sleep. Oh, another big paragraph. Another three weeks passed until Mr. Verdon returned, but when he did, there were some. There were three other men. Words, 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 words. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, it's 11 minutes, I need to end this. Bye! Well, you could do a fundraising of fundraising of this. <laughs>
keep messing that line up. Let me try. Oh, well, you could you make a sh <laughs> Damn it! I need to check, Mr. Vern. Mr. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob, I messed up your last name. Let me try again.